Hey, Octavio Diaz here, Papa Raw Owner Raw Fitness. I have a tip for you so you never look lost in the gym. This is Leg Building 101. Ladies, if you want a big, nice booty, firm, tight legs, then this is gonna be an exercise you gotta master. But there's a lot of people that do it wrong and end up hurting their knees, hurting their back. So if you have bad knees, bad back, I'm gonna give you some tips at the end of this video. But for now, let's go over the basics. So there's only three things, super complicated. Super complicated. Three things that I'm gonna need you to think about. Super simple, chest up, ass back, knees aligned with toe. So if you can get the camera on the side, I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm not gonna round my back as I go down, I'm gonna keep my chest up, and then the movement's gonna start with the hips, with the butt going back. So a lot of people, you'll see them squat to the front, that's gonna kill your knees. So you wanna start the movement, you lead with the butt to the back, keeping your chest up, keeping your knees aligned with your toes, and then you're gonna come up. So I'll show you with the weight, with barbell, without barbell, it's gonna be the same. So if you can get the camera on the side, we will do this. So first you get onto the bar, get a tight grip here, you're gonna unrack it. You don't unrack it with your shoulders, you just let the bar rest on your traps, on your back, take a step back, and there's only three, three things to think about, remember? Chest up, butt back, and knees aligned with your toes. Chest up, butt back, knees aligned with the toes. Okay, now, if you do that, it'll take care of everything else, okay? There's also gonna be important where you keep your weight, but if you have your knees aligned with your toes, butt back, chest up, it'll automatically do it for you. Now, let's say you have a bad back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get something to stand on just to give you a little bit of a, about an inch, and you're gonna put your heels on top of it. See, so your heels are gonna be a little higher than your toes and you're gonna do the same movement. So that little inch is gonna give you a little bit more range of motion without involving the back as much. So if you have a bad back, try that. Of course, see with your doctor first, but if it's nothing severe, that, that'll fix it a lot of times. If your knees are bothering, of course, as long as it's not a surgery, something severe, if it's just a little bit of pain, get the opposite, get the toes on top of the plates. So now your heels are lower. Now, careful with this one, you wanna go a little bit wider for balance because it's gonna be a little bit harder balance, but it's gonna force you to squat back, and by squatting back, you're gonna take weight off the, the knees, put it more on the butt and the thighs. So give that a shot, never be lost in the gym again. If this helps, share with a friend, like and comment, let me know how it goes. Toodles. All right, so if you're a little bit more advanced, you've been squatting for a while, and now you're going up in weight, you wanna get stronger, you wanna really push it to the next level, here's some tips, some mistakes that I see people make that I've made for years. So a lot of times you feel like your legs can handle the weight, your legs are getting strength, but the weight is crushing you as you go heavy, right? Like you get stuck at the bottom or you just lose control. So a, a few tips is when you go into the bar, see a lot of people go onto the bar, they take it up, and then they go straight into a squat with their body relaxed. So the more tension you can create in your body, the more strength you're gonna be able to produce, the more, and the lighter the weight's gonna feel. So instead of just ha having your arms hanging here or whatever, I want you to get a little tighter grip, get your elbows in a little more, and you're gonna create tension from your head to your toes, so everything is tight. That's part number one. Also, you might get that right, but then you breathe at the bottom. So if you go down full of air and then you let go of the air at the bottom, you lose your tension, your core is gonna collapse, okay? So what I want you to do is tighten up your whole body from head to toe, and then before you squat, get a lot of air, and then you're gonna hold it until you come back out of the squat. That way you're able to create a lot of tension in your body and be able to produce more force. And also it's gonna give you more confidence because the weight's gonna feel lighter. As you tighten up your body, the weight's gonna feel lighter. Now, this is something you wouldn't do for a lot of reps because then you're gonna, you know, your blood pressure's gonna go crazy high. But if you're doing for low reps, maybe you're maxing out, then give this a try. Everything tight, squeeze the bar, get those elbows right here tight in your body. Big breath. and you breathe until you come out. Give that a try. Create tension in your body, and you're gonna see a lot more strength come out of that same movement the same day once you master this.